Hi everyone. Today we're going to look at um, the radius and circumference of a circle and how we can solve problems about them. So we're going to go through three examples and then you're going to do some practice on your own. All right, so my first problem, the radius of a circle is three centimeters. Find the area and their circumference of that circle. So as I read through this problem, I definitely want to get some important information down on my paper. So I noticed that they want the circumference and the area and that they give me the radius is three. So I'm going to start by drawing myself a circle just so I can picture it. And I'm going to say, draw in that the radius is three. And that radius we know is the point from the center to the edge. So they're saying in this circle, not drawn to scale, that is worth three centimeters. Okay, they want us to find the circumference of this circle. So how far around does the circle go? So I would use my formula from the other day. Try writing it on your paper before I give it to you. All right, so the circumference of the circle is equal to two times pi times the radius. So I can use that formula to figure out how far it would be around. So everything stays in the same. My circumference is going to be two times pi times my radius of three. I can simplify that expression to six pi, multiplying the two and the three, and then writing in my unit of centimeters. Circumference, like we saw um, last week, is measured or can be measured against a ruler if you just think about it as unraveling. So you can turn that into a straight line if you cut it and unraveled it like we did with the string. So I would keep my measure of centimeters because that's a distance of the length around. If I don't love, you know, that's our exact answer. It has pi in it, but I can also find a rounded answer because sometimes we're asked for that. So I'd type in my calculator six times pi and I would get um, my circumference is approximately equal to, I'll go to two decimal places, 18.85. Centimeters. So that's the circumference. That's how far around my circle would go. The second thing they ask for in this problem is the area. So area is all that space that our circle takes up on the paper. Area also has to do, has a formula that has to do with the radius. So the area is equal to pi times the square of our radius. And we figured out that formula last week by actually making squares that were the length of our radius. Again, I would fill in the parts that I know. So my area is going to be equal to pi times my radius, three squared. So uh, three squared is three times three. Not three times two, but three times itself is how you square something. And that would be nine times pi. So nine pi would be my exact answer. And if I type nine times pi into my calculator, I could get a rounded answer of approximately 28.27. When I'm measuring the area of something, I'm measuring how much space it takes up. So we need to measure that in square units like we did with our radius squared before. We're counting how many square, in this case, centimeters we have. So my answers would either be nine pi centimeters, square centimeters for my exact answer, or for my rounded answer, 28.27 square centimeters. 
square centimeters, squintimeters. So that's our first problem. In the next video, we'll do another.